Okay, say the keys are not in the car. All right, let's see if I can get this to focus. And I try to I'll hold in the brake and I push the button and then this pops up. If I can get it to focus. It might not focus. Come on. Come on. Well, anyway, it's a picture of a key. Wow. There it is, exclamation point and a key. That's because your key is not within the car. Oh my goodness, so. Let me get my shoes on. Anyway, so now since you got the key, which you can turn on your car, um, if you ever have trouble, like the, your battery dies in your key fob, you just push your key fob against the start to stop while you, see now it starts up. We don't want to start up because we're all right. So yeah, so that's how you um, start your car. That's what happens when there's no key. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and enjoy your day. Enjoy. Your day because as a human being with keys, keys make connections, electrical connections, mechanical and electrical connections to enable your battery, probably your starter, hence the name starter alternator possibly the various computer systems all connected so when you turn that key press that button your car it turns on and then something wonderful happens it starts the process of the fuel air spark your piston and that combustion process it starts a cycle of the piston going down from the explosion from the combustion of the gas which is your fuel the air which is the gas too it's a liquid fuel into the gas which is the oxygen or nitro nitrogen atmosphere, just the atmosphere that's all around us. The air, fuel, air, and then the spark. Diesels really don't need a spark, but a regular unleaded four cylinder or six cylinder or whatever. You get that spark, air, and fuel, and it you have a timer, so you have time detonations which push down a physical piston and that goes down and it's connected to another mechanical physical metal part which is the crankshaft the crankshaft turns it's all connected eventually goes through the differential and eventually it makes a way makes its way through the wheels which spin which is the entire point of the whole process is to make your tires move go around and around accelerate that's, that's the whole point and then it's once you get the process started all from having your key all from starting your vehicle it's a self-sustaining process like the explosions the detonations they keep happening until you run out of fuel, run out of air, or run out of spark. How do you run out of air? It's 
something. Let me create a vacuum. I'm not exactly sure about that process. But I know the key won't, the key, now the key has the battery in it and the key fob. It's a, yeah, the physical key, which you can take out of the key fob. It's still got physical key, it's like a little, little slither of metal. The newer cars have the push button. So you use the push button, you hold in the brake and you push the button, you hold it for a few seconds and it starts the car. Up. The battery's dead. If the battery is expent, uh, no longer having its chemical reaction inside of it, then the energy is not transferred and the battery doesn't work. So it's not, no longer stored energy. So then you take your key fob and you push it up up against and actually push the button with the key fob, and it'll it'll work. It will work. You don't even need a battery in your key fob. It's a built-in thing. It's like an emergency type of thing. I don't know if it works all the time, but it works. Your battery's dead inside your key fob. And you have a little key in there, but there's you could open your doors with the key the little slither metal piece of key. But you can't start your vehicle because the only thing to start in your vehicle is the, the push button. Just push your key fob against the button while you're holding the brake in. I digress. I digress. So if that pops up on your dash, the little little exclamation point and key picture together, it's red. It's red. Red means caution or warning or bad. Well then, your key's not registering. It's too far away. Sometimes I lose my key in the car and fall between the seats. I can't find it, but the car will still, it'll still start up because it's within a certain radius, a certain circumference from the computer systems, the, the sensor, the monitor, that kind of thing, or whatever. It's a wonderful thing. Like, subscribe. <clears throat> Thank you.